Hello everyone, I just wanted to give everybody an update on what we're doing with the Focus RS Rally Car. Uh, this is the car that we've uh, done a, a lot of little modifications to and we talked about the brakes uh, a little bit. Uh, the 15 inch wheels work well with the brakes. The only difference was on the rear, I want to mention that the 15 inch wheels will go on with the stock brakes, but you have to modify the handbrake cable, you just have to grind the handbrake cable off at a little angle and then you have to go up, upstairs inside the car and make uh, a small adjustment on your handbrake adjustment. So the handbrake adjustments inside the car, you pull the panel off around the handbrake, you'll see I think it's a 13 millimeter nut, you're going to have to give it a turn or two before the rear handbrake cable stops rubbing on the rear brakes. So on the, on the rear wheels, I'm sorry. So the handbrake cable rubs on the wheel going by, you have to grind it off and you have to give it another turn or two to adjust that cable just enough. So the rear brakes are stock, 15 inch wheels will fit on there just barely if you grind the cable and make an adjustment. Um, so that's the brakes sorted out with 15 inch wheels, it's going really well. Uh, the next thing that we did, obviously we have mud flaps and underbody protection. Um, we found that um, on the rear mud, on the front mud flaps, we have a support. So really, we have two mud flaps. Uh, a lot of you folks can just use one mud flap, but uh, on for heavy rallying, uh, we sometimes have a uh, mud flap enforcement. And uh, obviously, uh, we have the skid plate and subframe that we talked about. This one is going to be modified slightly. We're going to change the design, but uh, with the subframe and the front skid plate, um, we've had no problems. Um, even with uh, not having the right bolt heads, these are, bolt heads are obviously uh, too big and we're going to change that around a little bit. And you'll see how that's going to be is over here on this skid plate design. This is what we normally use on our cars is we have a, a reinforcement around the bolt head. Um, so it keeps the, so the bolt head even it'll be an oval button head type of bolt that it'll have a little place for the for the uh, rocks to skid over the bolt head. That's kind of how we fix that. And of course, we're always venting out air it needs to be uh, to get out from underneath the hood. So uh, that's how that design is done. One of the other things I wanted to uh, go over is the the rear underbody protection. The rear underbody protection on this car is very similar to what we use on the Fiestas. This type of plastic is secured on the front. We bolt it onto the front like this. We usually have a little overlap with the, our, we're going to have a different uh, floor protection. But this goes, bolts to the front, runs along, it bolts to a piece of uh, belting. So we cut this just right. We have a belt that goes over the rear control arm and this belt holds the flap up in the back. So as the suspension goes up and down, it protects the front of the lower control arm. It protects the brake. It protects a lot of stuff having this on the rear. So when you see the damage from the front tires throwing rocks, keeps most of the damage um, down in the back. We're still going to have a rear skid plate, um, but for right now we have a bit of heat. We want to make sure we deal with the heat on the rear drive unit, so we, we have not got the rear skid plate in place. So right now, this is all the underbody protection we have, is mud flaps and these rear flaps. Soon we will have the floor protection and then also the rocker guard protection. It's likely next we're going to remove the rear plastic rocker guides and put Kevlar. What else have we done? Uh, the suspension on this particular car is raise the car. We removed the sway bar links. So you see in the rear there's no sway bar in the front. We removed the links that go from the sway bar to the strut. So now we have no sway bars hooked up. We've increased the suspension travel by over two inches. This particular strut I'm using is the Bilstein 46 millimeter uh, 5.8. Uh, 
Strut with the uh, 360 on the rebound, 380 on the rebound, 180 on the compression. I believe that's what it is. And we use a 250 pound spring, 12 inch long. So we have two more inches of travel, it's much stiffer. The spring is about 30% stiffer than the original. It seems to be pretty close for gravel. Um, we have to still work on uh, the rear shocks or uh, something that uh, 21 inch shock. I need to get a little stiffer, but I'm playing with that right now. Um, so we've, we've had no problems with CV joints, increasing suspension travel, raising it two inches. Uh, hasn't had any effect on these um, CV joints. The next thing I'm going to be trying on the front is going to be using a set of uh, stock focus uprights. Uh, I'm going to work on whether or not that's going to work or not. I'll have that information in probably another couple of weeks. And we have to work on, uh, I believe, oil cooler will be next. We have a bit of a high oil temperature when you're really driving it hard. So engine oil temperature will be uh, brought down hopefully with an oil cooler. Uh, there's a number of other little, little items we need to work with Ford Performance and see if they can help us with uh, some of the ECU uh, issues that may come up with the rear drive unit. Uh, occasionally when you brake with your left foot it goes front wheel drive. Uh, sometimes when it gets over a certain amount of time it goes front wheel drive. So these are some of the things that we need to work on before we can say this will be an excellent rally car. But at this point uh, we're really happy with the way the suspension and the brakes have gone and the underbody protection and now I feel that the car is uh, it's, it's fairly easy to drive on the dirt and next up we're going to let Wyatt Knox and some of the other instructors and get their opinion of how this is going along. Thank you very much.